Welcome to New York City Comic Con. I'm Megan Laux with CBR, and today I am joined with Ryan Stegman. Ryan, how you doing? Great. How you doing? Great. Uh, look at all these people. Isn't that insane? It's nuts. It, yeah. Last year was what half capacity, and this yeah. year they've let everybody back in, and it's a it's crazy. How does it feel to see your artwork standing proud right in the middle of that? It's, that never gets old. Yeah. So like you know, um, when Marvel first did a banner with my stuff, I, I wanted that for so long. And then to see it, it's, it's really cool. It has to be extra special, too, because it's like your own original idea mm -hmm. coming straight from your head. That's awesome. Yeah, they're using it to sell books, you know? Yeah. It means What's it's doing well, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is doing great. I work at a comic book store, and Vanish is completely sold out. Perfect. How does that feel to see the fan reception to it? Well, I mean, it's been a long time coming. We worked on it for so long, you know, for like a, a little over a year. Um, so I didn't know what to expect, but the reception's been unbelievable. And, uh, you know, everybody's coming up to the table and we're signing them and they're telling us how much they love it and, you know, all these things. And we're like, oh, yeah, we made this. <laughs> yeah, and it's great, too. Yeah. Um, you create a really great dystopian, futuristic uh, artwork landscape in this book. What kind of were your inspirations for that? <sighs> I mean, you know, so many things. You know, you look at, like, Blade Runner, um, stuff like that, but, like, uh, you know, you, when you're doing those types of things, you, you kind of, um, you know, you, you build a vision board or a, you know, inspiration board. And that's pretty much what I did is I just um, went through and found things that would inspire me. And then I, you know, drew from so many different things and then melded it all together into my own little thing. Awesome. What is it like to have a creator own book? Is this your first one? Yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, it's kind of the culmination of everything that I work towards, really, because um, I always wanted to, um, you know, I wanted to draw Spider-Man. I wanted to draw Batman. But most of all, I wanted to do an image comic book because that's what got me into comic books. So that was the thing. Um, I actually, you know, as a fan of comics, I started as an image comics fan and then branched out into Marvel and everything. Now, of course, I was a Spider-Man fan as a kid because what kid is it? And so I drew Spider-Man all the time as a kid. But so then when it came around, you know, we had finished Venom, and I feel, felt like Donnie and I had said everything we wanted to say. Um, you know, the idea of doing Creator Own was a no-brainer. And, uh, you know, it, it feels very fulfilling, like more fulfilling than anything I've ever done because it's just that's mine. I, I made that from nothing, you know. Do you plan on doing any more Creator-crowded uh, books in the future? Yeah, the, um, so... Uh, if you go to our um, Substack, the klcpress.com, um, we just announced uh, a new, another creator-owned book that I'm uh, co-writing. I'm going to do covers for. Um, it's going to be drawn by Tyrell Cannon and co-written with uh, Kenny Porter, and we're going to. It's called the Schlub. We have a whole video about all of that. So you know, my plan is to make a. You know, I, I would like to make a lot. It depends on if they sell, but yeah. you know, so far so good with Vanish. But we'll see if this one sells, and if this one sells, then you know, the sky's the limit. I, I'd love to just keep doing them. You and Donnie have worked together numerous times. What's your favorite thing about working with him? Um, you know, just from day one, we um, clicked. We got along. We we have the same inspirations. So. Um, you know, right away we worked well together, but you know, now we're at a point where um, I add things to his scripts, you know, in the visuals, and then he'll be like, remember when you drew that one thing? He's like, now I'm gonna add that down the line. And it's just kind of like this push and pull where we're both adding stuff and we both like what each other does so much that it, you know, it yields some really interesting results. There's a ton of gnarly action in this first issue. What was your favorite piece to draw? Of the action? Um, yeah. There's a page, I'll just say, it says Blam really big on it. Uh, you know, a lot of people, it's funny, we were talking about it today, people call that the twist. They're like, I really love the twist. And Donnie and I were like, I guess that was a twist. <laughs> um, but they love that page. And, you know, when I drew that page, I, you know, I went all out and did all this crazy, you know, um, design stuff with it. But, and it's a huge moment in the book, and that's why. Um, so probably that one. I also enjoyed drawing the guy with his intestines flying out, you know, <laughs> just because it was like I could never do this at Marvel, you know. You know, Marvel has a speci specific rules, um, you know, no exit wounds, and there's exit wounds all over this book. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that I mean, and they're right to do that. It's not, you know, it's not like they shouldn't be saying that. Um, but the uh, the fact that we could do it, I just had to, you know, go all out with it. Of course, yeah. of course. 
Um, you have your own podcast called Stegman and His Amazing Friends. Mm -hmm. What made you want to get into the podcast world? Well, as a kid, and again, like it all goes back to that, I feel like, but um, I loved the letters pages in comic books. I loved especially the Spawn letters page. You know where Todd, you really got to know who Todd was. Um, and I feel like we don't really have that. Any, in Wizard, you know, same with Wizard. And I feel like, you know, that sort of in-depth in getting to know your creator is, is a little bit lost, in, you know, right now. Because, I mean, you, you know, I, I guess Kirkman does extensive, you know, letters pages. But um, I felt like this was a way to do that, to, to give people access and get to know, you know, like we kind of, with the KLC stuff we've done, we also do a live stream, you know, where people come on and they talk to us. And we built a community. We have a Discord, you know, like all the things that you could possibly have. And there's an actual community, so like groups of them will come up to the table. And they've met through this thing. And that's exactly what I, you know, that's what I wanted with it, is to, to sort of create a community where we could all, you know, interact and make friends with people, you know? You and Donnie created a huge extensive universe in this first issue alone. Do you think there will be any spin-offs of Vanish? There should be. I mean, if the, um, we already have one, you know, in the works, but again, like, we, we know that the, the book is selling well right now. We have to see if that maintains, but um, the, the, the world is, you know, ripe for all kinds of spin-offs, and we, we, we'd love to do, you know, tons of them. Not all at the same time, obviously, because we don't want to spread ourselves too thin, but the idea that we have for one right now, you know, it's, it's being developed, but again, we're not going to push the button on it until we're sure that it's, you know, the right time. Um, but there's, yeah, there, we, I would love that. I, that n nothing would excite me more. Excellent. What can fans expect to see in the coming issues of Vanish? Well, a lot more intestines, <laughs> uh, lots of blood, lots of, um, lots of emotion. I mean, issue two definitely slows down a little bit and we get to know the characters a little more. And uh, it's very emotional. Um, you know, that, that's kind of the, the core of this book is, you know, there's a real, you know, heart to it. And, uh, you know, yeah, mainly lots of violence, though. Perfect. <laughs> well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank I'm you. Megan with CBR here at New York Comic Con. Make sure to check out CBR for no, more New York Comic Con content.